Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you the solution for the lead code problem 706 design hash map. So in this question, as it says, we have to design a hash map without using any built-in hash table library and we have to include the functions put, get and remove. So I'll show you a very, very simple and efficient way of doing so, keeping in mind the constraint which, which says that all keys and values will be in this range and the number of operations will be in this range. So we'll be simply using an array as a map. So int a, which will be the array we'll be using, and a is equal to new int So within this size, we can follow the constraints. And as it says that in the function get, if there's a value with which the key is mapped, we'll return that value or else we'll return minus one. So we can fill our array in such a way and we can initialize it in such a way that the default value returned is minus one. So using this code, our array is initialized with the value minus one. Now, void put meaning simply a of key is equal to value and a of get meaning simply return that value. So a of key and void remove meaning a of key no longer has that value. It is back to minus one. So within this five, six lines of code, we have designed our hash map using a simple 1D array keeping in mind the constraints. So let's see if it works. Okay. So as you can see, we got a runtime of 13 MS, which is faster than 93.24% of Java online submissions for design hash map. But the runtime somewhere somewhat varies because I've gotten 99% for the same piece of code. As you can see here that this is 99%, this beats 99% and the code is same. So runtime somewhat varies along with the size, but this method is quite efficient. And as you can see, very, very simple as the only thing we're using is a simple one dimensional array. Thank you.